Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Our today's topic is bit streaming. Syllabus reference, show understanding of bit streaming, including methods of bit streaming, real time and on demand, and importance of bit rates, broadband speed on bit streaming. So let's start. Bit streaming. So that's the term. Now, before I take you through all these pointers, which will help you in writing your answers in examination, I'll explain this process using this image, right? So what is bit streaming? Bit streaming is basically, you know, you have some source of uh, data that can be a video file, that can be an audio file. And you are sending that data, you are transmitting that data to some media player from the server, right? So your source of stream can be kept on some server or any computer from where you are sending it to some client's computer uh, where some media player is playing uh, your files that can be audio file that can be video file right now what is bit streaming bit streaming is basically contiguous streams of data from the source of stream from the server side they are sent instead of sending the data as a whole you know as one file data is broken down into bits and then those bits are streamed to the client computer. Now here, there is a temporary storage comes into place known as buffer and each buffer has a lowest mark. So whatever streams of data is being transmitted from the source of stream, it starts filling in here in the buffer and it will only start playing on the client computer once this lowest mark, at least data is filled, at least bits are filled up to this lowest mark. Only then it will start streaming, right? And along with that, there is a highest mark. It will stop getting this, uh, streams from the server once it is filled till here, right? So at least this much is to be filled to start sending data towards the client and it will stop receiving data from the server once it is filled till highest mark, right? Once it goes down the highest mark, it will again start receiving data from the server and once it goes down this it will stop sending it to the client right so minimum mark is required to be filled to start streaming the uh, data and uh, highest mark if reached then it will stop receiving the bits from the server right so uh, that is uh, known as bit streaming. Now we'll look at uh, the pointers which you will require while writing your exam answers, right? So what is bit streaming? It is basically a process of transmitting digital data in the form of continuous streams of data, streams of bits. So how it happens? Larger piece of data or files, they are broken down into individual binary digits, that is bits. So whole file is not sent across, rather it is broken down into individual bits. Then sender encodes it. Some encoding technique is used. So original data is encoded, right? And then packets of frames are created out of those then these packets are sequentially sent over the network. Then receiver decodes it and reconstructs the original data 
for playback or display. Now, here you need a constant and fast internet connection. You cannot uh, use bit streaming without internet connection. Plus, bits, they arrive in the same order as they are sent. Then only your file can be reconstructed in the same manner, right? So that's bit streaming. Now, what are the benefits of bit streaming? Major benefits are there is no need to wait for whole video to be downloaded. User can, user can just start watching, you know, without download, downloading it. Also, you don't need to store large files on your own device. It's on the cloud or on the internet. You just can you, uh, see them directly. You don't need to download and save them on your device. You can play them as and when they are required, right? On demand, if we talk about, which we'll cover in some time. No need for any specialist hardware and also affords piracy protection. It's hard to copy or pirate, uh, you know, uh, pirate uh, any files which are streamed continuously in form of packets or frames, you know, downloaded files or stored files, they are easy to be hacked or. Now we have limitations. Internet connection is required all the time. You can't do anything without a stable internet connection. Buffering issues, if your speed of internet is low, then, you know, you might seeing that a buffering sign where it's trying to fill that lowest mark to start sending or start displaying files on client's computer. Streaming uses up a lot of bandwidth and also security risks and copyright issues are involved. Next comes methods of bit streaming. So there are two methods, one real time and second is on demand, right? So what is real time? Real time as the name implies, as and when the data is being captured, viewers can directly access that data then and there in real time, live. So commonly used for live events, video conferencing, right? Real, real time surveillance systems. However, there is a limitation that you cannot pause, rewind, or fast forward real-time bit streaming. Yeah. So what, what is the process of real-time bit streaming? So an event is captured by camera, a camera is used, a microphone is used, and then it is sent to the computer. Video signal is converted or encoded to streaming media file. So you have to convert it in some format after encoding it. Then encoded file is uploaded from the computer to the dedicated video streaming server. So there are some dedicated uh, uh, video streaming servers like uh, from where it is sent across user's device. So server will send this encoded live video to the user's device. So that's the process, right? Using camera and microphone, event is captured, video signal is converted or encoded kept on a server, from that server, user is able to access that. Now comes on-demand. On-demand is basically as and when required, user can access it. It is not live, right? Use It is kept somewhere and as and when user wants to watch it, view it, he or she can do that. So it allows user to request and access images or any data as and when they want. Data is stored on the server and in a cloud-based storage. And user can retrieve data at their own convenience as and when they want. Commonly used for video on-demand services, image galleries, online platforms like Netflix, YouTube, etc. And it is possible to pause, rewind, and fast forward the video or music if required. So that's on-demand. Now, what is the process involved? 
digital file is stored on the server and converted to bit streaming format, whatever format is suitable that it is converted to, right? Encoding takes place and then encoded files, they are uploaded on the server. Now a link is created to that encoded file. User clicks on that link and then file is downloaded as a conti continuous bit stream, right? Not downloaded on the system. However, it, it starts displaying uh, in a continuous bit stream format. As it is on demand, the streamed file is broadcast to the user as and when required. As and when user will click on it, it will be displayed. You are watching all the movies, you know, on Netflix or on any other uh, video streaming so, uh, platforms. So they all are on demand, right? So that's the process. Now, what is the importance of bit rates and broadband speed on bit streaming? What is bit rate? First of all, bit rate is, uh, it is number of bits transmitted per unit of time. How many bits they are being transmitted? That is known as bit rate. And broadband speed, you all know the rate at which data can be transmitted over a network connection, that is broadband speed. Now, higher bit rates allow for the transmission of more data in a given time frame, resulting in higher quality data with greater details and resolution. So higher the bit rate, more data can be uh, displayed with better quality. Same thing goes for broadband speed. Faster broadband speed allows for quicker and more efficient delivery of data, reducing buffering and latency issues during streaming. And it ensures that data can be transmitted and received in a timely manner, resulting in a smoother and uninterrupted speedy, uh, streaming experience. So both the things, if more, of course, your streaming experience will be better. If bit rate or broad, broadband speed is low, your bit, bit streaming experience will be affected accordingly, right? Now let's have a look at past paper questions. So this is a question from October, November 2015. And that time our syllabus, it was nine, uh, 9608, you know. Uh, now question is, explain the term bit streaming. So we have just understood bit streaming is basically where sequence of digital signals or bits are uh, sent across. Uh, internet connection is required to do so. Some kind of buffering is needed and bits arrive in the same order as they are sent. So you can write any two points that we have covered up here. Any of these points. Process of transmitting digital data in the form of a continuous stream of bits involves breaking down of data, right? Encoding at the sender side, then packets are transmitted, and then you know internet connection is required and bits arrive in the same order. Any two points you can write because this question is of two marks. Right. Now, second question is, a person watches a film streamed from a website on a tablet computer. Give two benefits of using bit streaming for this purpose. So you just have to write two per, uh, benefits. We have just learned up there so many. So any two can, you can write. I have written already some points. No need to wait for a whole file to be downloaded. No need to store large files on user's computer. Allows on-demand playback. No specialist software is required for playback in browser, right? So the any two points you write, you get two marks. Then comes state two potential problems of using bit streaming. So limitations, video stops hangs if slow internet speed, video stops hangs if inadequate buffering capacity, loss of internet means can't access files, may require specific software to run the files, viruses can be downloaded from the website. So any two points. Then Next question is explain the terms on demand bit streaming and real time. So two methods, you just need to explain those two terms, four marker question. So two marks, two points for on demand and two points for real time, right? Uh, keyword use is explain. So let's start with on demand first. So on demand, as you know, 
first thing that you need to understand it that uh, uh, when it is on demand number one it can be paused it can be uh, you know rewind you can rewind it you can replay it so keeping that thing in mind you can write all your points so on demand as and when required by the user uh, so uh, I have written few points already. Digital video tape, analog video tape, or digital files they are converted to bit streaming format for broadcasting on the net. This is known as encoding. These encoded streaming video files are then uploaded to a dedicated server. Then a link is generated. User clicks on the link to download the streaming video. Uh, then broadcast to user as and when they re require it. It can be paused, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's on demand, any two points you write. And real time, an event is captured live with video camera and using microphone, video camera is connected to the computer, video signal is converted to streaming media files. The encoded feed is then uploaded from the computer to a dedicated streaming server. Then the server then sends the live images to all users requesting it in real time video streaming and it cannot be paused, rewind or forwarded. So that is, uh, uh, these are the points about real time. So you have to just write two points about this along with the explanation and two points about this. You'll get four marks, right? So that's all about bit streaming. So we have covered bit streaming, benefits, limitations, along with methods of bit streaming and importance of bit, bit rates and broadband speed. So that's all. Thank you.